What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. On my way to Matt's and today hopefully we can finally sort Ryan's R32. Probably going back almost two months ago we engine swapped Ryan's R32. I built a RB20 debt for my Safiro that I actually ended up selling to Ryan and that's the motor that we put in this R32. It's the first motor I ever put together and um, yeah we're having a, seem to be having a few issues building some oil pressure so initially we thought it might have been the oil pump so I pulled it off and I took it down to Alec Carade. He pulled it down, had a look at it, and was able to figure out that it was mint. Pressure relief valve was sweet, so he said it had to be something to do with the oil pickup. So Matt pulled the sump off, he realized that the sump actually has a dent in it in just the perfect spot. So I took the sump home, used the water blaster, give it a real good clean. Now, yeah, I'm taking it back to Matt, so we're gonna bash it out, and hopefully chuck it back on the car, get the oil pump back on, hopefully fire it up today. Right, so first job now that I'm here at Matt's is we're gonna bash the sump out. You can see that it is clearly dented, but it still doesn't look too crazy, but it just must be in the perfect spot, because if we go into here, you can kind of see like little like dots around that area there. The mesh from the pickup has been pressing hard up against the bottom there. You can actually also see on the pickup that the mesh itself has been dented in. So I've got a hammer and an extension here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bash out that dent there. That's looking way better. Still got a little bit over here that I need to uh, try and get out But it's a bit harder with the inside of the sump how it's like this I can really only get my extension into this bit So yeah, putting it on an angle and getting it more over to this side is going to be a little bit more trickier But yeah, we're almost there It's got the sample sorted It's all bashed out, it's pretty much ready to go on I uh, yeah, spent the other day going around the edge of it Cleaning off all of the silicone that was not fun. Use the drill and a wire wheel to do that. It's just the easiest, fastest way to do it. You make a hell of a mess, but then you can just sort of water blast the uh, pan out, which is what I have done. I need to finish drying that off before we actually go to put that on, obviously, because we don't we don't want water sitting in there. But what I was doing the other day, which I filmed none of it, because it was such a boring job, but as well as getting all of the um, silicone off the sump, I had to get it off the bottom of the motor too. Lying underneath the car, Trying to get the block clean. A little bit's got my eyes, but not too much. But, you know, lying under here doing this sucks. Because on top of it going in your eyes, your arms just, after about two minutes, are absolutely dead from just lying backwards, holding them above you. Yeah. It's definitely funner jobs out there. Now I'm about to take the sway bar end links off so we can get the sway bar out. That way it'll make it easier to get the pan back in. We got away with leaving the subframe in so we didn't have to take that out because if we did we ended up we would have ended up having to mess with all the power steering lines and stuff we didn't want to have to do that so yeah luckily we were able to leave the subframe in the sway bar out but before I can chuck the sump on I've got to put the oil pump on just finished cleaning up the surface on the block and cleaned up the back side of the oil pump while as a car aid I picked up this bottom end seal kit so it comes with a brand new oil pump gasket it's gonna whip that out chuck that on and then we can get the pump on
Hi guys. I'm trying to clear the lens. But yeah, I'm pointing it at you now. What's that? Nothing, Joel. Right now I'm doing a mad zoom in shot. It's like right on your big ass nose. <laughs> My nose isn't even big, bro. Fucking hell. It's not as big as my ego, anyway. Fuck, ain't that the truth? Whoa. And you walked into that one. Just replace the O ring on the pickup. Did yeah, you know? to... Eh? I thought I put that on there. Congratulations, oh, you yeah, did. Matt's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Matt just replaced the O ring on this pickup. No, no, you did it. Then he dropped it on the floor. No, after gonna... he gave Joel shit. Being <laughs> dodgy. Because that's his ego coming in. <laughs> Pushing his nose out of the way. <laughs> so I've just cleaned the pan out. One last time, sprayed it with brake clean, just to make sure it's nice and clean, because now I'm about to take a three bond, smear it all around the pan, and then put the pan back on the car. Now I've got the sump on and the gearbox support brackets on. Now I can take the hammer out that we've got wedged between there and then bolt the subframe back up, connect the steering joint and then put the wheels on. We can get this thing back on the ground. So we've now got the oil pan on, oil pump on, sway bar is back in and the wheels are on. The car's pretty much ready to go back on the ground. Just going to lower the engine back into back into its mounts and take this uh, contraption off. So I haven't been filming much because I've just been trying to get it done. But we got good news, we have oil pressure. So it turned out to be something as little as a dent in the sump. Jack pointed out earlier that it could most likely have been the sump it was dented off another motor and uh, that pickup would have been, uh, you know, bent with the sump, but because this pickup is mint, the, uh, yeah, the dent in it was just able to block it off perfectly. So, yep, I tested it before, cranked it over, and we've got good oil pressure. I took the turbo feed uh, off there and put it into a bottle, cranked it, and yeah, we got oil pressure, so that's good. Now I just gotta finish putting on the cover, then put on the alternator water pump belt, power steering belt, get the radiator in, get all the intercooler piping sorted, get these coils in, and then we can uh, fire this thing up for the first time. Thank you. 
we're pretty much at a point now where we can take this thing for a drive. I've gotten everything all back together, the intercooler piping's on and all done up. Radiator hose is in, I've got the AFM plugged up. But I noticed when I was putting the turbo feed back on that it was a bit tough. So the threads were uh, apparently not the best to start with. So um, tried to crank it and noticed that it was leaking a little bit. So I went to Jack Brace on the way here this morning and grabbed a new fitting. So just got to chuck that in and then uh, we can start this thing up for the first time. Turbo lines on, just put water in the radiator. About to crank it. So I'm gonna crank it for probably like 15 to 30 seconds just to build up some real good oil pressure. And then uh, connect the cast back up and actually try and start it. Got oil pressure. Moment of truth. Tighten that up, take two, but this thing fired up right away. So I've ran Ryan's R32 up, got it up to temperature and then turned it off. So now I'm going to drop the oil out and then put some fresh stuff in and then I've also got to get a new filter to chuck on there and then this just needs some running case. So I've now put fresh oil in and put a new filter on there. A little bit of lift to tick while the uh, lift is, the hydraulic lift is bleed up. So yeah, hopefully that goes away up and drive a little bit. It's a bit of smoke just because there's a little bit of oil burning off from down there. Yeah, I'm about to take this around the block. Not going to boost it, just going to yeah drive around the block and uh, yeah, see how it goes. So I'm sitting at home, just finished editing the video and realized that I didn't uh, I didn't do an outro. So I'm very happy with how everything has played out. It turned out to be something so small as, yeah, just the dent in the sump blocking the pickup. My fault, I should have looked at that sump when I put it on and been like, there's a little dent there. I should probably tap that out before I put it on. But um, yeah, these are the things that you learn. Um, I do remember seeing the dent actually. Um, I do remember thinking that it was so small that it wouldn't be an issue, but yeah, it turned out it was, but yeah, luckily we got it sorted and Ryan's car is now running mint. The uh, lift to tick was a little concerning. I thought it was knock at first, but um, yeah, nah, we uh, took around the block and it quietened down quite a bit. And the next day, 
Ryan and Jack actually uh, took the car out and when they came back, Jack said the lipstick had pretty much completely gone. So yeah, just needed a bit of driving just to build uh, build some um, pressure up, I guess. I don't know exactly how the uh, hydraulic lifters work, but yeah, the uh, tick's gone now, so that's good. Um, all that really needs to happen with Ryan's car now is it just needs to continue to be running for probably another 500,000 Ks. Um, getting into boost, not not flooring it, but you can yeah definitely still get into boost. Just put on varying varying loads, and then once it's running, then Ryan can uh, yeah thrash it. So pretty happy that this is uh, all behind us now. Um, it was quite stressful. I was thinking that I'm potentially going to have to uh, pay for a rebuild or rebuild it again myself, but yeah, turned out to be something so small. So that's awesome. Uh, I hopefully will be able to bring you guys some content with the 14 over. The next couple of weeks, uh, I've already made the decision that I'm not going to be doing round one of Drift South. Unfortunately, we didn't get uh, any sponsors on board. Sold a few stickers, but not many of them. So uh, we're just going to call it for round one. Uh, me and Sam have got some uh, some exciting stuff happening in the next couple of weeks, though. Um, actually, the weekend of Drift South, we were supposed to be moving. So uh, that gives me an extra day to be able to focus on that. But uh, once we're in this new place, we're then we're going to go full full hog with my 14. The Sephiro is going to be coming back. And um, we've got Anthony's drift car build uh, to announce. So he's got the shell. Um, but yeah, once we move into the workshop, we'll pick it up from his place, take it there, and we'll start working on it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that'll be it for this one, guys. I'm rambling on. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.